So, out here at a job today in Park Street in Sydney. Um, basically, doing a job for this lot here and at my house. And uh, what we're doing is an MDF cleanup. Uh, I'm putting in a socket and then uh, running uh, some MDF jumpers to connect them up to their service. So, basically, it's a new new establishment here and we're just setting up got some good cool stuff inside so, no. yeah. Today's a bit of an interesting one. We're doing an IDF cleanup, um, a bit of maintenance work on the IDF. Um, customers moving into a new location here, and they want us to come and clean all this up first. So you can see it's quite dirty. So we're going to clean this up today for them, and then uh, going to connect them to the MDF, and then whack a socket on next to it so they can plug their router in. So uh, basically just uh, getting some uh, cleaning products here and cleaning these up. So first I brushed off all the crap and now we're just going to go through and clean all internally here underneath and then remove any of the cabling that's chopped off and not being used so it's sort of a bit more manageable. So yeah, just the process. Clean so I've got majority of that cleaned up now. So realistically we've just got a 20 pair coming up from the MDF. And I've cleaned all these. Um, I've had a look around to see if there's any sockets in the place so we don't need to put a socket right next to the IDF here. But uh, obviously when they've moved out they've ripped everything out. They are the last tenants. So now I'm just going to make sure everything's nice and dry. Some good old trusty toilet paper. Dry it all off all good. We'll put everything back how it was, and then uh, we'll try and get the MDF connection with the channel pair they've provided me. Okay, so all well, the blocks are back on now. Uh, it looks much better than what it did when it started. And a bit of TLC for an old IDF. Okay, so now we've added a socket here. Um, there's no cover for this thing. Um, I didn't want to replace anything, so basically just connected a socket up to it, put it into Pair number one, and basically I'm going to be moving this thing back in place here, so you know I'll never get knocked off. And we're going to sit the router up on one of these shelves here, um, but yeah, that's about as good as you're going to do it for the nice budget effort, um, you know. But yeah, so put them a tester now, and we'll send a tone. Well, put them a F set, and we'll send this tone down to the MDF. Trace that out. Okay, so straight away I can tell that pair number one is not going to be any good. A nice clean tone there. This one, I'm getting this messed up tone. Right, so we'll flick that over to number two. Because we've got a 20 pair to play with, so generally if I hear that on one of those, and it's not a clear tone, I know that there's a problem on it somewhere. Okay, so number two. Nice clean tone. That saved me the hassle of having to work that out later. So if you ever hear that, uh, you know it's no, it's going, there's an issue. So a lot of these older buildings in Sydney still have the soldered frames. Now you can see this is our old school stuff. All the telephone exchanges when I was a network technician, um, they're all soldered like this. So you'd have um, you know run your cables and then you'd have to wrap it around and then we dab a bit of solder on them. So basically now I've got to find the customer's pair in this here. I doubt there's a book in here. There generally isn't, or they're not very maintained, these places. Even if there is a book, it's probably not going to be updated. So I've just got my toner. I'll go through, find it, and then uh, 
that should be that. So you can see here the old cable that came in here. So this is like, I guess, a hundred pair. Um, you've got the two splitting off. So for the A and the, well, the A side of the frame, which is this side here. And the way that these used to work is uh, sometimes you'll see these and they're actually lead. But this isn't lead, it's sort of like a plastic -y type one. And then here you've got all the <coughs> all the individual cables going up to each of the floors for the uh, IDFs, which is all here. And these were always a dream to work on because you could just go run straight down and find your home so quick. I like the chrome blocks where you got to go one, two, three. These are just like. That was one of the best things about working on these old frames. Another thing too, you'll notice on these MDM blocks, they've got X pairs and they've got C pairs. All right. So what the X pairs were for, they would have those wired through for when they had, you know, were cutting over back in the day from MBN, I mean from like an ADSL service to MBN. So what would happen is they'd wire it from the old frames into here and then from those frames up to the channel pairs. So then it was literally like a switch they flicked and would cut off the ADSL service and then it would uh, connect them to the channel pairs. So you can sort of see here, the X pairs stop here. Right, and I need to go onto this one, which I've just confirmed. This is it, pair number eight. So that is me there. And there's already a jumper connected to it. So I'm gonna remove that jumper now and then run in my new jumper. So that means I've got my tone actually here, so it wasn't anywhere on these older ones. It's actually coming in here on these guys, not these guys. So at one stage, these were all for these uh, Telstra unit here. Right, so that would have been their fibre, <coughs> fibre cable. So I'm guessing maybe the old client was on that. So we need to now identify it and run our jumper from the MBN, which is this here, MBN code. And then we run our jumper up and across over here down into this part. So these wires here, the red and blacks, they were the ones that were attached to the two. So now I've removed it. Well, I've still got my phone here, which confirms that this is the one going back up to the building. Right. And then if I run my cone down here again, this A side one, this would have been going back out to the street. So that's gone now, which means I've confirmed it wasn't going onto that, which I sort of knew because I've got the tone over there, but sometimes you'll have things double jumping. So it's always good just to check everything you do. So now my tone here on number two. So now I've confirmed that, and now I can run my cable. So I'm on pair number eight. All right, so we're good to go. I should have a service up at my socket now. Uh, I just made a quick detour to the toilet, but check out this. Super cool. It's like it should be in a punk rock and roll venue. Don't usually show photos of toilets on my channel here, but I thought this one was very deserving. Graffiti as. Pretty cool, huh? Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up, like a bridge tap, or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed, um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video, um, and you can click on those links and they'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.